All right, hello and welcome to this presentation on how to use Lifter LMS with WooCommerce. I'm gonna get my screen shared with you here. So let me pull that up. <clears throat> can somebody confirm for me in the chat if you can see this uh, starter slide that says power up your online course? Someone just let me know that's working. Cool. <clears throat> so my name is Chris Badgett. And in this presentation, we are going to be looking at uh, how to use WooCommerce to sell your course, online courses or membership programs, coaching programs, or private communities, all from, <coughs> excuse me, all from your WordPress website so i'm gonna just move on to the next slide here we are also going to be doing a giveaway so stick around to the end uh one lucky attendee on the live call is going to win a free single site license um to any lifter lms add-on or if you're already a lifter lms customer and you win we're, we can apply that value to your existing license and i also have a special announcement which is a special offer. So with the release of Lifter LMS WooCommerce 2.0 and to celebrate this webinar, we are doing a promotional coupon code you can use. <coughs> um, that coupon code is Lifter Loves Woo. You can see it on my screen here. You can use that to take $20 off your purchase of the Lifter LMS WooCommerce add-on or any other Lifter LMS product through February 14th. So that coupon code again is Lifter LMS Loves Woo. So go check out that special offer. And let me stop sharing my screen for a second. So let me pull something up here and then we'll get this party started. So this is not gonna be one of those boring slideshow presentations. I'm gonna be playing around with real websites that are live with you here today. So let me share my screen with you. And can you let me know in the chat if you are seeing the a homepage to a website called My Expert Business. Awesome, you can see it. Cool, thank you, John. Let me move this out of the way. And just a little bit of housekeeping before we get started. Um, we are recording this, so there is going to be a replay. If you, um, if you uh, want to watch this again later, I can't stay till the very end. Helmut, I saw you join. Welcome to the call. And. Uh, also, this is supposed to be really interactive. So if you have questions about WooCommerce, about Lifter, about e-commerce, selling, or pricing models, or whatever it is related to Lifter LMS and WooCommerce, please use uh, the Q&A box here in Zoom. Um, and also, you can uh, use the chat. And in Zoom, there's a feature here where you can raise your hand if you wanna talk live. So I'm gonna kinda of go through the presentation and then I'm gonna circle back and go through all the questions. And if you want me to show you exactly how to do something with WooCommerce and Lifter LMS on this live site, I'd be glad to do that. So, uh, and just real quick, Nicely is asking, can you use the coupon code with Lifter LMS Loves Woo with another coupon? It is not uh, available to be used in conjunction with another coupon, but thank you for asking. So, uh, uh, but that coupon code is Lifter, L Lifter Loves Woo, and we'll get to it at the end, but just so everybody's clear, if you're perhaps new to Lifter LMS, um, there's a couple different ways you can get our WooCommerce add-on. You can buy it a la carte. Uh, we'll put a link in the chat here. And, uh, but you can also get it via our two bundles. So one of our bundles that has a lot of things in it, including the WooCommerce add-on, is called the Universe Bundle. And then our bundle that has everything in it, which is, includes 
uh, you know, like 17 different plugins and all the advanced features of, of Lifter LMS. Um, that's called the Infinity Bundle. So you can either get Lifter LMS WooCommerce by itself as part of the Universe Bundle uh, or as part of the Infinity Bundle. Uh, and if you want to kind of explore the differences between those, I'd encourage you to check out the Lifter LMS pricing page on, Lifter, on the Lifter LMS website. We'll put a link to that in the chat. But I'm going to get right into our main presentation here. And I hope you enjoy what we're going to talk about here. And again, if you have any questions at all, drop them in the Q&A box, drop them in the chat, or raise your hand so we can talk live and discuss all that. And just real quick, I want to welcome everybody to the show. Alan, Carolyn, Chris, David, Dennis, Gabrielle, Helmut, John, Jose, Kim, Lacey, Marco, Michael, Nicely, Patrick, Paul are here so, so far. We've got some more people jumping in. Welcome everybody to the call. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate your, you spending some time with me today. So I'm going to take you on a lightning tour of the front end of this simple uh, Lifter LMS WooCommerce website. So we just got a simple homepage up here with some course category or uh, WooCommerce product categories. So this is a courses category, memberships, equipment, and then a book in the box by mail category, which I'll explain in just a little bit. You know, this is a simple about page. We're not doing anything fancy here. We're just using um, Lothar LMS and WooCommerce, the, Ast the popular Astra theme, which we'll put a link to in the chat and uh, WooCommerce and the WooCommerce subscriptions uh, plugin as well. But this is just a simple page here, two column layout and the new WordPress editor. You can look at our courses right here. And we've got six courses loaded up into this website. Uh, and a big thank you to Allie for helping put all this together. Uh, so these are like six sample courses. This is the official quick start course for Lifter LMS. And uh, you can see, as you, this is actually a free course. You don't have to pay $500 or $5,000 to get it, but uh, we were just demonstrating some of the features there of the Lifter LMS access plans. Uh, but this is a, when you first set up Lifter LMS, <clears throat> um, you have an option to install a sample course. This is the sample course you get, which gives you a walkthrough on how to get your first course up and running quickly. It's called the, Kicks, the Quick Start course. So um, just throwing that out there. Uh, but then, you know, this is just like a demo course, the music course here, we've just, we just put in a couple lessons and you can see here, the syllabus is down here and I can click on um, the one-time payment or the monthly payment. So if I click on that $2,000 for one year of access, that's been added to my WooCommerce cart. If I go to view the cart, um, you can see this is the WooCommerce checkout screen. We've got this course being purchased for a one-time payment of $2,000. You know, we could use the WooCommerce coupon code system, and uh, but this is just the classic WooCommerce checkout. We can move on over to the, from the cart to the checkout, and here we could uh, purchase this course for $2,000. So pretty straightforward there, but I was just kind of walking you through from the Lifter LMS course catalog here, or what's also called the course archive. And then over here is the memberships. So we have a, a membership here, this is called the platinum membership. And in this case, when you buy this membership, you get access to all the courses on this website. Um, and this one is in what, what's called in WooCommerce a variable product from $1,000 a month, you know, as low as, or these are the, um, in WooCommerce, what are called pr uh, product variations. So you could do the monthly payment for $1,000 a month, or you could do the annual payments for $10,000 a year. I could click sign up now. And I'm... I've added that to the cart. I can then again view the cart. I'm just gonna go ahead and X out that single music course. And you can see 
um, I could proceed to check out and purchase this membership for $10,000 a year. This would be an annual subscription for $10,000. And I'm actually gonna go through this checkout in a little bit, um, not right this second, um, but we'll see what happens uh, with that when we do some uh, scenarios here. I'm gonna click on shop here. So this is the WooCommerce store catalog uh, or product catalog as it's known product archive page and we've got a couple things going on here we've got um, the music course we set up that we were just looking at had the two options the two thousand dollar one-time payment or a two hundred dollar a month subscription we set that up as two separate WooCommerce products so if we look at this one here this is just the one-time payment of uh, two thousand dollars if somebody were to try to buy that course, they're gonna be checking out through this product. But then that's how a lot of these are set, these courses are set up with um, each access plan is associated with a separate uh, product. But this one right here is this leadership course is kind of like that membership. It is a variable product. So instead of using two separate products, we gave this one a monthly and an annual option. So there's kind of a couple different ways to do it. So we're just kind of demoing all of that. Also inside of our shop, we have some non-course and membership related products like the book club, which is $100 a month, <clears throat> currently on sale from $125 a month, where you can uh, get a book in the mail uh, for a hundred dollars a month. We also have just a regular old t-shirt, which I think um, WooCommerce originally was built for just simple physical products like a t-shirt company on the internet. So here we've got a hundred dollar t-shirt. You know, it's pretty fancy, pretty fancy t-shirt there. Um, and then we also just have straight up physical products like this just equipment here. We've got $5,000 worth of equipment uh, that we could add to the cart. So now if we look at the shopping cart here, we can see we've got the platinum membership uh, for $10,000 a year, and we're gonna invest $5,000 in the equipment. So like as an example, if you were selling like a music, uh, become like the amazing piano person, you could sell them a piano for $5,000 or $40,000 or however much a piano costs. And then a $10,000 a year membership that includes a bunch of courses. That's just an example. Um, so that's just a, a, a quick tour of what's in the shop. And then over here, when you click on dashboard, this is the, um, WooCommerce dashboard that when you have uh, Lifter LMS enabled with the WooCommerce integration, it basically combines all of the WooCommerce account endpoints they're called with the Lifter LMS dashboard endpoints like their certificates, achievements, and so on. Um, so that is uh, just a quick tour there. And I'm just going to go back to the home screen and, you know, pull up the Lifter LMS course catalog here. <clears throat> so the next thing I'd like to cover is why would you use WooCommerce instead of Lifter LMS? Because Lifter LMS does have its own uh, e-commerce payment system. We have an add-on for Stripe. We have an add-on for PayPal. We have an add-on for authorized.net. And there are really, <coughs> excuse me, four main reasons why I recommend that you sell with WooCommerce using the Lifter LMS WooCommerce add-on to integrate into the WooCommerce ecosystem instead of the Lifter L just using Lifter LMS by itself's e-commerce engine. The first one has to do with this map right here. This 
is a map of the world and the countries that Stripe supports. Stripe is the, one of the most popular uh, payment gateways in the Lifter LMS native e-commerce system. WooCommerce even has its own Stripe integration. But as you can see here, um, it's only about uh, these 32 countries where you can use Stripe, where the, the website owner's bank account needs to be located to use Stripe to sell your courses and memberships and products um, via credit card, via the popular Stripe add-on. So if you cannot use Stripe, let's say you live in South Africa um, or uh, in, a, in Russia, um, you can, there's payment gateways that you can use that, are, that WooCommerce has developed. Um, so as long as you can figure out a way to sell it with Woo, you can do your enrollment with Lifter LMS and all the LMS and the course features and the protecting of the content and the student dashboard and all that stuff. So if we were to um, bring up this uh, WooCommerce's website right here, um, if you go into their extensions, I'm gonna click on payments. And I love this feature right here where we were just looking at um, select payments and then select your country. So if I happen to live in South Africa, you can see um, I have a lot of options here. Um, I could use the PayFast payment gateway, which is um, popular in the South, South African um, e-commerce and this EnviroPay here. So WooCommerce has been around for a long time and has a mature ecosystem of, of plugins. Excuse me, one moment. Um, so I see Jose had a question from the um, Woo Help group why use WooCommerce checkout? And I think we're getting into that right now. Another reason is uh, Lifter LMS natively works with PayPal. Some people don't want to use PayPal, but some people aren't comfortable with it. And again, they want to use um, some other payment gateway besides what's available from Lifter LMS. Um, and Lifter LMS is committed to the global international community. Excuse me, I'm battling a cold. Um, so we wanted to, from the very beginning, we've always had a WooCommerce option so that you know people could use Lifter LMS in any country where they could get a payment gateway running through WooCommerce. Another reason is if they are selling more than just courses and memberships, and maybe they're more predominantly a retail store and they're just wanting to get into uh, adding courses to the product catalog. So if we look at um, like this equipment, like let's say I had an e-commerce website full of yoga equipment and exercise balls and DVDs uh, and you know physical products and for health and fitness and I wanted to start adding some courses to my store, then that's another good reason to use Lifter LMS with WooCommerce so that you can just add courses and memberships to whatever your other product mix is. The other, other reason is there may be some other WooCommerce extension that you may like. Uh, for example, uh, WooCommerce has some um, advanced tax management systems. Let me go back here to the store home. So WooCommerce has, uh, you know, like uh, Quaderno or Tax Ammo for managing um, EU and VAT taxes. So uh, <laughs> those, those tools can be another great reason. If you, if you need to use Tax Ammo, you can do that. Um, 
And, and, you know, WooCommerce has been around for a long, long time. There's a lot of different um, extensions that they may have that you may want to get the best of both worlds, what Woo has, but then use the incredible power of Lifter for your courses or your memberships. Um, and then there's, there's other uh, not stuff you may not find on the WooCommerce store like you might want to use. Like, for example, Cartflows, which is a sales funnel builder for WordPress built on top of WooCommerce. If you want to use cart flows to develop a, a sales funnel with upsells, downsells, cross sells, uh, all that kind of stuff, that might be a reason to use WooCommerce uh, in, in, instead of just a simple course site with Lifter and Stripe or whatever. Even if you're in the U.S., you may want to use a third-party tool like this. Um, so. Just to kind of give you a little bit of an origin story, um, <laughs> give you a, a, a origin story of Lifter LMS and WooCommerce. Lifter has always worked with WooCommerce uh, from the very beginning, and we did that from day one, even though we were adding our own payment gateways so that we could grow with WooCommerce and make sure we didn't exclude any people that um, needed to use WooCommerce for. Uh, payment gateway reasons in their country or uh, whatever other tools they needed from Woo. So we've always been with Woo on the journey. It can sometimes confuse people that do I need Lifter native e-commerce or should I use Woo to sell? But hopefully some of the things that I've just described here as reasons to use Woo can help you figure that out. Um, and then just to be clear, uh, if you are going to use Lifter LMS with WooCommerce, you need our WooCommerce add-on. There's a link to that in the chat. Um, and you're, you're gonna obviously need to install the WooCommerce plugin that's made by WooCommerce. And for recurring payments to function in WooCommerce, you need Woo subscriptions, which is a, uh, another tool right here to make the recurring payment magic happen. Um, with Lifter out of the box, recurring payments is built in, but with WooCommerce, you need this separate plugin to do the, the recurring payments. And it's a good plugin made by great, great people. So, um, and, and just the kind of the genesis of where all this came from, we'll put a link into the chat to what is an access plan. This is our most popular piece of documentation in Lifter LMS. From the very beginning of or I shouldn't say from the very beginning, about three years ago, Lifter LMS introduced something into the WordPress community where um, the Lifter LMS access plans um, to basically handle e-commerce, all the membership protection, enrollment, unenrollment, setting up the student dashboard, all this is bundled into one. You used to have to string together three or four different plugins to make this happen. And then, then Lifter LMS introduced the concept of access plans. And what happened is um, the native Lifter LMS e-commerce engine was more powerful than the WooCommerce integration. And the people that were using Woo uh, wanted us to add in um, that's as much of the native power that the Lifter LMS e-commerce engine has. And that's what we did. That's what is in WooCommerce 2.0 now. Uh, you can, anything you can do in native lifter e-commerce in terms of selling and membership protection and expiring access and all that stuff is now possible if you choose WooCommerce to sell as well. So, um, the other thing just to think about, just to be super clear, <clears throat> this is a lifter LMS course catalog. This is a Lifter LMS membership catalog. Get that to load. And the thing to get clear in your mind is that um, the, <clears throat> let me get a, the shop opening over here. Lifter LMS courses and Lifter LMS memberships need to associate with a WooCommerce product. So if you are using Lifter with WooCommerce, it's a good idea to just conceptualize 
okay, if I'm going to create this course in Lifter or this membership that's going to do all this auto enrollment and fancy stuff and protect, um, protect content outside of the course, one of the incredible features of the Lifter LMS memberships, you're going to need to attach that to a WooCommerce product so that you can sell it if you're using the two together. So I, I hope that's clear. But then what all that also does is that marries the dashboard. So the, and we'll look at a real user that has some stuff going on to where they're, um, you know, they, there's some WooCommerce dashboard activity and there's some Lifter LMS dashboard activity. Um, so, let me just pull this up. We'll put a link to this blog post in the chat. Um, this is the Lifter LMS WooCommerce 2.0 release post, which uh, just rolled out recently. And in this blog post, we walk through all of the things that are new in WooCommerce 2.0. This screen right here is the access plans I was telling you about. Um, where you can create uh, an access plan, you can assign it or associate it with a WooCommerce product, you can do the expiration and so on. Um, you can, the access plans can develop and, and on the courses and memberships and develop these pricing tables. You've got the, the course or membership expiration. We gave you an option to make your free courses or free memberships feel more like an opt-in than going through a $0 checkout through the WooCommerce store. Uh, we added the ability to do uh, variable products, redirect people who are visiting course items to the catalog to the WooCommerce product page if you don't want to display both the Lifter LMS catalog and you only want the WooCommerce catalog. So I highly recommend you check out this post. Um, this will kind of bring you through the ideas of what makes Lifter LMS and WooCommerce awesome. But I'm going to be door, I'm not going to read this blog post for you. Go check that out. Um, and and we're going to get into um, some of the nuances of what's actually in um, the feature set here. So also just to kind of help clarify, there's three ways to sell Lifter LMS stuff with WooCommerce. And it can be confusing because there's a lot of options and a lot of power and flexibility, but I just want to make sure you're clear on the different ways to do it. So if we look at this music course, and you can see I've got a one-time payment and a monthly payment. And these are actually associated with two separate um, WooCommerce products. This one is associated with a one-time payment, and this is one is associated with a $200 um, subscription payment. So you can do an each access plan on a course or membership attaches to different WooCommerce products if you want. You can also do, uh, like with the leadership course here, a variable product where it says from here, If I click enroll, I'm going to, I can choose a variation of this WooCommerce product. So this is one WooCommerce product that has variations in it. And then the final way, which I, I don't really have an example of on this site, but just to make sure you're aware of it, is you could have lots of products associated with the same WooCommerce product. So no matter which entry point people come through, um, they can, <clears throat> uh, they're gonna go to a WooCommerce product that's actually gonna activate more than one lifter item. So multiple courses or multiple memberships, 
So that's like a one WooCommerce product to many Lifter LMS courses and or memberships option that you have as well. So just throwing that out there as another option. All right. Um, so let's, let's take a look at this site <clears throat> as a different user. I'm gonna log out here. And I'm gonna sign in as Samuel here. And I'm on the dashboard here and I'm just gonna flick this over. You can see here that Jose has, or Samuel has this course here. Um, if we look at Jose's uh, order history, this is the WooCommerce order associated with it. And I can look at that. So this is WooCommerce territory right here, should look pretty familiar. Um, this over here is um, Lifter LMS territory. And let's see what else Jose has. Jose has earned an achievement. And you can see Jose's notification history on the site as well. So this is all Lifter LMS stuff up here. And then this is WooCommerce stuff up here. So this is just kind of an example of how the account dashboards of Woo and Lifter are merged together. So let's do a, um, let's be a little bit more adventuresome. And let's do a checkout. <clears throat> so in this, um, the way this works with this site is this uh, membership right here uh, enrolls in every single course. <clears throat> so let me, uh, do the annual payments. <clears throat> so that's $10,000 a year. I'm gonna sign, sign, I'm gonna buy this right now. And you can see here, I'm logged out. Notice how Lifter LMS changes uh, the menu item. You can have sign in, sign out links that it kind of knows which state the user is in. So I'm logged out of this website right now. And I'm gonna view my cart. I've got the $10,000 platinum membership in it. I'm going to proceed to checkout. And I'm going to just bear with me. I'm a slow typer. Um, I'm going to do Lacey. Lacey. Oh no. Um, Lacey Testing Woo, United States, 123 Main Street. We're going to do Beverly Hills. California, 90210. And then I'm just going to put in a fake email address here. Got a password. And I don't have an extra $10,000 laying around. So I'm going to use this coupon code. Oops, there it is. Called free. We'll apply that coupon code. And you'll see that moves to zero dollars. And I'm going to click sign up now. And that's how the magic happens. So Lacey has just purchased. If I uh, I'm just closing out these lifter notifications. There's a lot of enrollments going on because this membership enrolled Lacey in a bunch of different courses. 
So if we go to, I'm logged in as Lacey now, you can see she got automatically enrolled in these courses here. And she's got her platinum membership. And Lacey is ready to get started on the official Lifter LMS quick start course. So we're gonna click get started. And I'm just gonna pretend Lacey watched that video and she's off to the races. She's starting to take courses and training on this site. You can notice the automatic enrollment all happened instantly. So that is um, just an example of using the WooCommerce checkout to buy a membership that auto enrolled in six courses and process $10,000 through the website. So I'm gonna just sign back out. And go back to the front of the website. And I'm gonna do a, a little bit of a back end tour of what this how this works in the back end. And then we're gonna get ready to take some questions. So um, before I do that, I just want to throw out um, in the spirit of the WordPress community and the community um, nature of this ecosystem where, you know, Lifter LMS is working together with WooCommerce. I'd also like to spotlight some other tools that I see a lot of WooCommerce using, a lot of WooCommerce users using. One is WP Fusion, which is a way to connect your WooCommerce store to one of these 20 different CRMs. For example, even at Lifter LMS, when we sell uh, course software, or uh, you know, the Lifter LMS software, we use WP Fusion to connect our WooCommerce store to ActiveCampaign, just as an example. But it's a great tool. Uh, they also have direct integration with Lifter LMS as well as WooCommerce, so there's a lot you can do. I'd also like to spotlight uh, Liquid Web. This is a managed WooCommerce hosting company. And they have like a, a getting started plan at $39 a month right now. Um, so if you're looking for not just like basic shared, you know, hosting, but something a little more powerful and tuned specifically for WooCommerce, check out Liquid Web. I also see cart flows growing in popularity uh, for creating, uh, you know, one click upsells and uh, just more advanced checkout scenarios with WooCommerce. So check that out. And then I also like to spotlight the Astra theme, which is what we're doing this demo on. Um, they've got a lot of great features that makes it easy to design your website. They, they've got integrations with Lifter LMS specifically, as well as with WooCommerce. Uh, really enjoy working with the Astra theme. Uh, another great tool out there. Um, so just wanted to spotlight that. So uh, just to show you a few things in the back end. Let me sign back into this website here. So um, I just wanna kind of show you the access plan area and then we can get into some more details. But if I go to look at the courses and let's say we were looking at the music course. You can see down here in the access plans where there's a one-time payment and the monthly payment. And if I open this up, you can see where this access plan is associated with a specific WooCommerce product. This is the music course one-time payment product. And then this is the, the monthly one. And this is associated with the, a, a different WooCommerce product, which is a subscription product. So if I go look over at the actual products in WooCommerce, um, 
if we see the music course here, these are WooCommerce products. I, you know, I use the same image, featured image as I am with the Lifter LMS courses. And if I go to the monthly course product, you can see that's here. We've got the featured image over here. We've selected this one to be a simple subscription that is virtual and downloadable. And uh, by the way, you need to set that up if you want the automatic enrollment to happen with digital products, if that makes sense. If you, if you have more questions on that, please post in the Q&A box. I'd be happy to chat about that. And then we have, let's look at the other music product that we were using. This is the one-time payment right here. You can see this is a simple product. This virtual and downloadable one-time payment, 2000 bucks, done. Um, but then I wanted to show you something a little different. So if we go to the courses and we look at the leadership course, this is wor working with what's called a variable product in WooCommerce. So this one only has one access plan, even though there were still two different ways to buy it. So if I open this up, I'm uh, associated it with the leadership course product in WooCommerce. Now let's take a look at our products. And if we look at this, this is a variable product. So you can see this is a variable subscription product type. And then if I open up the variations here, you can see there's a monthly and an annual. I can expand those. And you can see this is how you set up a variable product. So it's kind of two different ways to have two pricing options uh, to work with. One is like two separate products in WooCommerce and the other way is one product that has two variations or more. Uh, and then I just want to show you something even more complex was the, which was the membership auto enrollment. So this is our platinum membership here. And if I were to edit that, You can see down here where under auto enrollment, I've got when somebody buys this or gets access to this membership, they're going to get automatically enrolled in these six courses. Um, and then in terms of purchasing it, um, there this is associated with the platinum membership, which is a WooCommerce product that is also a variable product. So if we go over to products, and look at the platinum membership right here, this is a variable subscription product. And if I open that up to the variations, you can see um, this is the $1,000 every month. It never expires, so it's a monthly. It's marked as downloadable and virtual, which allows us to have the instant um, order completed so it doesn't hang up in processing in WooCommerce. And then down here is the annual option, where it's $10,000 every year. So that's just a kind of a quick tour of that. And you know, you can see all your WooCommerce orders in the back here. And you can see all the Lifter LMS data and analytics in the reporting over here. So this is what it's like to use Lifter LMS and WooCommerce together. Um, let me jump back to the front of the website. I would encourage you to 
ask questions. If you have any questions or want to raise your hand and talk live, we're going to get to that in just a moment. Um, but I just want to be absolutely clear on how, if you're interested in using Lifter LMS with WooCommerce, that you can get started. Um, if you head on over to the Lifter LMS website and you click on this pricing tab, you can get you can see over here all the individual add-ons. The WooCommerce add-on by itself is $99 a year. Um, you can purchase it individually uh, if you wanted for $99 a year, but it's also available as part of the Universe Bundle and the Infinity Bundle. So if either of those are of interest to you, you can check that out and invest in Lifter LMS with WooCommerce. Now the difference between the universe bundle and the infinity bundle is that the, they both include the core lifter LMS plugin with all the, all the features that make the LMS awesome. You've got the e-commerce, which in this case you would be interested in WooCommerce. Um, you've got the, the theme that we have. You've got the email marketing integrations we have, you have the, the form integrations we have, the text messaging integrations we have, but this is where the Infinity Bundle adds more stuff. You get the advanced quizzing system, the assignment system, the private coaching system, the social learning system, um, and you also get access to the uh, live weekly mastermind uh, office hours that we do for Infinity Bundle course customers. That's a weekly group call. <laughs> Those are the kind of things um, starting right here that differentiate the Infinity Bundle from the Universe Bundle. Excuse me one sec. So if you have any questions about our pricing, feel free to let us know. But there's also... Um, just know that we have a, you know, hundred percent 30 day money back guarantee. If you, uh, if you want to try it out and you're not hundred percent sure, you can always get a hundred percent of your money back within 30 days of your purchase. If you decide it's not what you wanted. Um, you can also try Lifter LMS before you invest and spend, spend the $100 or the $300 or the $1,000. You can do that by clicking the 30 day demo button right here. And um, this is a $1 trial where we, our system builds you a temporary website that has the, all the Lifter LMS add-ons installed, including the WooCommerce add-on, and you can play around with it. So if you're the type of person who likes to do a test drive before you buy, um, you can sign up for that for a dollar. So check that out. Um, you can also email us if you have questions. You can email us at team at lifterlms.com. There's also this chat right here. If you ever want to talk to somebody, um, there's, uh, if, if we're online, somebody will chat with you and answer your questions about and try to help you find what you're looking for and explain how to do what you're trying to do. Um, but our chat is a great way to um, if you have pre-sales questions to get those answered as well. You can also schedule a live call. If you go to the bottom of the Lifter LMS website and click this link, you can uh, schedule a live call with a member of, a member of the Lifter LMS team and community that can help you talk through what you're trying to do and figure out what might be best for your, your situation. Um, we've also got this getting started guide uh, for Lifter LMS and WooCommerce that walks through everything I showed you on this webinar um, and more so that you don't have to try to figure out how to connect Lifter LMS and WooCommerce together from scratch. We actually invest heavily in our documentation and uh, put all that together. So um, check out this piece of documentation. This is the place to start if you're going to do Lifter LMS and WooCommerce together. Um, and we also have something that we've just introduced. Um, we're just kind of exiting the pilot period of it called the Lifter LMS liftoff sessions. So this is a new thing that we're adding for new customers who buy any, um, 
any Lifter LMS add-on or bundle, um, you get access to a weekly live group call where we can help you answer questions live, make recommendations, or point you in the right direction on a live call. Some people prefer to interact with a live human being and not email or chat or, or you know, submitting support tickets or whatever. So that is a resource that's available for the first um, 30 days after you purchase. So those are called liftoff sessions. As soon as you invest in Lifter LMS, you'll get an email with details and how to join the next one of those. Um, and if you like that kind of thing a lot, you might consider getting the infinity bundle where we have that kind of call every single week. And there's been people that have been coming every single week for years to the office hours mastermind call. So just throwing that out there. Um, now just one more time, let me, mentioned for you we do have a special offer right now this is good through february 15th the coupon code lifter loves woo that's going to get you 20 dollars off so go check that out um lifter loves woo and if you're watching this on the on the replay just look look down below and uh you'll see a link to the store and uh, uh, this code will be there if you want to copy and paste it for use on your checkout. All right. So, yep. Just one last time, three ways to get Lifter LMS WooCommerce. You can get it by itself for 99 bucks. You can get it via the universe bundle or the infinity bundle. And uh, we are going to be giving away uh, a, cop a $99 giveaway today. So, you might get the Lift Your LMS WooCommerce add-on for free if you're looking to get it, uh, if you end up winning. So stick around after the questions, we're gonna draw the winner. And uh, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and take some questions. So I'm gonna go to the Q&A box first and see what we've got over there. So let me pull that up. All right, so Paul asks, when a visitor clicks on buy course, can we redirect them to the cart in this, instead of displaying the link to the cart? Um, I believe there's a setting in WooCommerce where you can do that um, to expedite the checkout. Let me, let me look at that with you. Um, if anybody else knows the answer to that, it sounds like Jose knows. Um, so, Maybe type your answer in the chat, Jose, while I while I look for it in the back here. Uh, let me let me pull that up here one second. So if I go into the back and I go to the WooCommerce um, settings. <clears throat> uh, Payments, see if it's in here. Jose is saying go to, the, to Google direct a cart checkout URL. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I see it right there. So let's see what, let's see what Jose is talking about. WooCommerce direct to cart checkout URL. All right, I'm gonna bring you up Jose. Because this is a common question. Um, let me uh, stop sharing my screen for a sec. Jose. What up, Chris? How you doing? <laughs> Good. How's it going, Brad? Good, man. So, hey, look, uh, if you'll run over there and look at the uh, business bloomer uh, link, yep. Open that up, and if you scroll down there, I think one of the most powerful things that that folks can realize is that in order to get you know the the, the checkout process and your conversions increased, scroll down a little bit more, right there where it says add one simple product to cart. If you take lifterlms.com forward yep. slash question mark add to cart equals 
infinity bundle product ID, whatever that is. Yeah. Okay. And then you can add that to, you know, Kathy can add that to the links in the chat or all that stuff. So you, what you're doing there is you're, you're putting the, the person directly into uh, the checkout instead of having to make them skip through the cart page, look over what they want, maybe second guess what they want, and then get into the checkout page. What you want to do is get them directly to the checkout page. That is the, the, the great thing right there. And you can also do that with, um, uh, scroll down a little bit more, and Rodolfo has very intricately typed up uh, variations. There you go. So as you're going oh, yeah. through all the vari variable products of how to set up Lifter LMS and things like that, and somebody's got subscriptions with variable subscriptions, say one month, or join the awesome cat yoga class for yeah. one year, and that's your variable product. Well, look, you can also make those variations really awesome for analytics to keep those in one product ID, but one of your variations is monthly, one of them is yearly. Maybe one of them is quarterly. You know, cats love yoga. So you've got direct add to cart but, but checkout URLs if you go over that, that page right there. Really, really hard to, I mean, not, not hard, but you have to really look at uh, everything that Rodolfo has typed up there is wonderful. Yeah, I'm going to put that link in the chat here for yeah. everybody. And then also, it, while I was reading Rodolfo's article here, I noticed this setting right here, which I think goes back to Paul's question. There's a redirect to the cart page after successful addition. That'll save you one step right there just by clicking that box in terms of streamlining the checkout flow. Cool. Um, well, thank you for that, Brad. I'm gonna feel free to hang out if you want. I'm gonna go through some more questions here. Um, Kim asks, hey Chris, is there a WooCommerce out of the box with variable products or does it require the subscriptions extension to have monthly payments? If you are going to sell, WooCommerce has variable products out of the box. For example, you might sell a t-shirt that has a one-time payment and you can get the green or the blue shirt. But um, if you want to do recurring payments, you're gonna need the Woo subscriptions plugin, which, uh, do I still have that up? That's right here, this, this one right here, which is available on the WooCommerce store. Um, so that's how that works with Woo. Lacey asks, how to buy a two domain license? I, I have one domain license now and one another in the near future. Well, if you're talking about Lifter LMS, if you read right here about license types or the number of active sites you can have, if you get the WooCommerce add-on by itself, that's good for one site. However, however, if you get access to that via the universe bundle, uh, that's good for up to five sites. And if you get access to WooCommerce through the Infinity Bundle, you can have unlimited active sites. So maybe that might influence which one of these you decide to get. Um, let's see, Michael asks, do virtual and downloadable need to be checked in Woo products for Lifter automatic enrollment to work? And if so, why downloadable also? also? I sell a course, not something downloadable. That's a great question, Michael. And I don't know if you can add to this, Brad, but um, in my experience with Woo, this is just always something you've had to do if you wanted to have that instant uh, autocomplete order after checkout. You, it, in WooCom for that to work in WooCommerce without custom code, you have to set your course or membership as downloadable, even though technically it's not really a download. Do you have any comments on that, Brad? Is he still here? Yes, are you there? Yep, go ahead. Okay, you were absolutely <laughs> close to correct. Um, okay, so in WooCommerce, all you need is for it to be virtual. And then run over and Google either the snippet or the plugin that says autocomplete virtual. It does not have to be downloadable. That's that cool. Sense? So there's, a, uh, there's one plugin you can add to do it, is what you're saying. Um, well, yeah, it, I mean, it's a plug-in or it's a snippet. If you run over there, it, there you go, grab another tab and do autocomplete virtual. 
products in WooCommerce, all that. Boom. That's it right there. Okay, so it, uh, the, when, when you go to create a course, in the back end of your uh, Lifter plus Woo site, what you don't need to check is um, downloadable. All you have to do is check virtual. Then stick this plugin in there, and then your virtual products will automatically complete. So in native WooCommerce, it's gonna sit there and say, okay, do we, we wanna update this order? We wanna make this order processing. We're waiting for the shipping information, yada, yada, yada. In Lifter, of course, you don't need that. It just needs to autocomplete. So you click virtual. Unless you have downloadable assets as well, like let's say your name is Chris and you have a Lifter course and you provide downloadable assets like badge images. So in, I don't know, maybe Chris Badgett, uh, in his Lifter LMS setup, he would have both of them checked off because Mr. Badgett is delivering uh, course creative actual assets. But for most of us, you're gonna wanna just simply click off uh, virtual. Yeah, I think that's a great point. Like, especially if you're doing a training based membership site, you might have courses, but you might also have that you get auto enrolled in, but you might also have um, like some downloadable, like, spreadsheets and worksheets and audio files or something that are true downloads. So it's a great point. Um, and just to be clear where we're looking at that, when you create a product in WooCommerce, this is a recurring payment product. So it's a simple subscription. And this is, this is the virtual and the downloadable checkboxes right here. Um, and if you're doing a variable product, these are kind of hidden inside the variations, but uh, Lacey asks, what if I need Woo extension only for more domain licenses? Is it possible to get it without purchasing the universe bundle? Yes, but you're going to have to purchase two WooCommerce uh, add-ons from Lifter if you want to be able to get support on both those. So you can always get, uh, if we go down to the WooCommerce here, oops, passed it. Um, this is a single add-on available in the Lifter LMS store. There, there's an add-ons link at the top of the screen. Um, if you think you might need two and you don't want to get a bundle, I would just get one of these. And then whenever you're ready to get the second one, you know, just wait and come back and get another one when you're ready. It's not uncommon um, for people to buy, buy plugins in that way. Helmut asks, when you all, when you, use all those plugins like Lifter LMS, it's add-ons, WooCommerce, Woo add-ons, WP Fusions, Cart Flows, a page builder, maybe add-ons a page builder doesn't cause this, does that cause speed issues? Um, I'm gonna put a link to a webinar presentation in the chat that we did um, about speed specifically, but really the more complexity you add, the more that's gonna affect speed. So in this case uh for like the demo i'm doing right here this is pretty lightweight um there's no page builder there's no cart flows um this is just plain lifter plain woocommerce um the woo lifter woo integration woo subscription it's pretty it's really pretty lightweight but that being said you know Lifter LMS is a platform plugin. WooCommerce is a platform plugin. These, these plugins can create users. They can create a fully functional online business for you that has lots of moving parts. And the more people you put inside those systems, the more resources you're gonna need, which is one of the reasons why I mentioned uh, Liquid Web in this call as a you know managed WordPress hosting, uh, managed WooCommerce hosting. Um, and there's other great ones out there like uh, WP Engine and uh, Kinsta is growing in popularity. These are managed WordPress hosts that are not the cheapest in town, but do better when your site gets more stuff going on and also more people and more traffic and all that. So yeah, if you, when you add page builders and add other things, um, 
you just have to take that into account. But with good hosting, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I just recommend taking a minimalist approach to plugins, just like an inexperienced website builder from what I see will add sometimes have like 40 plugins when they could have gotten the job done with 10. So just be a minimalist, try to try to develop a minimalist aesthetic. And over time, as you get better and better at building websites, um, less is more uh, is kind of my thought, but you shouldn't be scared of using something you really want to use. If you really want to use a page builder or um, you know, a, a certain theme or whatever that you're really used to, like don't be scared to use it. Um, if you if you really like it, um, especially if it's popular and well supported. Um, Lacey says, "Oh, uh, she tried to add the Woo extension, logged into her cart, but it did not allow to add another product with the same license. The way the Lifter LMS license system is works, we build our own license. You can buy multiple products at once, but you can't buy multiple of the same product at once." So if you are gonna need to, if you wanna purchase two WooCommerce add-ons and you wanna get them both today, you're just gonna need to do two transactions. Sorry for the inconvenience on that, but just come back after you purchase and purchase again while you're still logged in and you're gonna get a separate license key for the second one. All right, I'm gonna take a look at the chat and then see if we have any questions coming in from Facebook. Um, just scrolling down the chat here uh yeah this demo we just did with the astra theme it's growing in popularity in the lifter community um uh nicely asked does astra come with the universe bundle it does not it's made by a separate company called brainstorm force however <clears throat> um astra has a free theme and if you become a lifter lms customer you can get started with Astra for free. Uh, the, the, the free Astra theme is great. Um, and then part of Lifter LMS includes uh, Lifter LMS Pro, which is a, let me get this up here. <clears throat> this, where is it? Somewhere in here. There we go. This product right here, gives you access to a bunch of achievement badges and certificate backgrounds and stuff. But it also gives you Lifter LMS Pro only discounts. And one of those discounts for you is we have one of the best Astra Pro coupon codes that you're gonna find. So uh, if you do wanna get Astra, it's free. And if you want the Astra Pro plugin, which gives you even more Lifter LMS and WooCommerce features, um, uh, once you buy Lifter LMS Pro, <laughs> either by itself or through one of the bundles, you'll get a special coupon code you can use. I'm almost out of water, so hopefully that doesn't uh, happen again. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Hey, Chris, while you, while you grab some water, can I, can I jump in with a question? Yeah. Benito. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Benedetto Lettieri <laughs> uh, yep. from the Woo Help Facebook group says, when I use vouchers, the order doesn't auto complete. I have to manually complete it. Uh, is there a way so that when the student uses vouchers, the order itself will auto complete? And from what I understand it with the, the history here uh, within Lifter. Uh, the voucher system is used, and it's a great feature. Let's say that uh, we have uh, Kathy's kangaroo class, and all of the kangaroos want to take a uh, kangaroo class. You know, the voucher system is meant and intended for Kathy to go in there and say, okay, I've got 10 kangaroos. Let them take the class when they want to. Ben ben Benedetto... Uh, here wants to know if those orders can auto complete. Oddly enough, just so we're clear, uh, Benedetto Lettieri here is using 
native uh, native lifter and not the WooCommerce extension, just so that we're clear. That's a good question. Um, let's take a look at vouchers for a second here. Um, a voucher is different from a coupon code and we'll put a link to the documentation around that. So a voucher is, is more of an activation, not an actual order. And if you're using Lifter LMS with WooCommerce, you can use this. Like, let's imagine um, you sell like, um, you had, let's say you have a thousand dollar course and you sell like 50 seats to a, uh, a company that wants to put their 50 of their employees into it. And they send you a check for $50,000 or you create a, um, like a hidden WooCommerce product just for them. That's like a $500 checkout and you, they pay and you want to hook them up with the code. So if we were to do, um, the, the kangaroo voucher, um, let's say we were doing 20 new codes with one code each. And whenever somebody gets this, it's going to, um, whenever somebody activates this, it's going to activate the platinum membership. So I'm going to publish that. Oops. I mean, add that it's, it's uh saving there. Uh, maybe I save that before it did that. Let me uh, just do that again. So th these are my voucher codes that I would give to whoever bought that, the, the kangaroo company or whatever. And I could rename these and I could even put in like certain people's names. I could even email the client from right here um, a, uh, a spreadsheet that has all the voucher codes for them to hand out to their team to activate. And it's, it's, a, um, it's an activation. It's not an e-commerce checkout. It's not a 0% off coupon. So if I were to sign out of this website, um, I'd have to, I need to activate the vouchers on this one, but um, let me actually just sign back in. You can do it either from a, a login screen or a register screen, or you can do it um, from inside the site. Let me show you what I mean by that. So if we go to the combined Lifter LMS WooCommerce dashboard, or if you're just using plain Lifter, it looks similar, but they can just redeem a, doubt, a voucher, you know, by entering the code right here. There's no e-commerce checkout. If this activates, if I were to do this, it would activate the membership. It would auto enroll me in the six courses from our presentation today. Um, so that's what it is. It's a voucher activation. It's not, it's, it's an activation of, learning programs it's not a uh, e-commerce checkout that's what coupons are for so i hope that i hope that help that helps clear that up if you have more questions on that um please feel free to ask we've got some more questions coming in here um if the customer of my course platform wants me to delete all his data is it possible to develop a tab into lifter lms to make this happen asap you know what Lacey, we already did that for you. That was the whole GDPR uh, stuff that we, that we did a couple, several months ago. So um, I'm going to point you over to the, we'll put a link into the chat to the Lifter LMS training webinar we did on GDPR. But yeah, they can absolutely request to be deleted. They can export their data um, and they can be completely erased from your site. And we have a whole process and documentation on, on how to do that. So go um, check that link. We'll put it in the chat in just a moment. Um, we've got some more questions over here coming in from Facebook. Um, <clears throat> Paul, it, Paul likes Shopify checkout better than WooCommerce checkout. That is okay. If you want to use uh, Shopify checkout, that's actually something you could use this voucher system for is you could sell with Shopify and then in the welcome email, send them a link to a registration on screen on this website so they can activate their voucher code and you're in. So I know this is a webinar about selling with WooCommerce, but uh, you could 
you, it's flexible. You could do that if you wanted to sell through a different system. So I think we've got, that's kind of it on the questions I'm seeing coming in right now. I do want to give somebody, anybody the opportunity to talk live. Does anybody want to come up live and ask questions? If not, that's okay. Uh, but if you do raise your, press the little raise your hand button in Zoom and you can come up and chat live. Uh, if not, that's okay. Hey, can I jump in back again, uh, yeah. Chris, real quick to get uh, Go the, ahead. the last guy's question was about, you know, I like Shopify's checkout better. Totally fine. R run over and, and look at cart flows or look at build woo funnels, either one. Because both of those, I mean, just because you like the checkout page of Shopify, that's not really a full fledged justification to completely jump over there because Shopify subscriptions, Shopify, this Shopify, that, okay. Just cause you like Shopify checkout rock on no problem. I mean, it's a column. It's different layout of the form rock on go snag you some card flows, go snag you some build, uh, build woo funnels or something like that. Or you can very easily customize Lyft or LMS checkout page as well so that those forms look, you know, you could turn the form upside down if you wanted to. I mean, you know, just because you like that checkout, that's not a great uh, justification, if you will, to completely abandon uh, WooCommerce altogether. If you look at cart flows and what they've done, uh, or build woo funnels, uh, Damon and, and, and Tavlin over there have done a great job with, with, uh, the arrow checkout. You can add val validation, uh, add verification, add uh, reviews to the checkout page, all types of awesome options that, that will even surpass conversion rates of Shopify checkout page. Well said. Well said. Yeah. WooCommerce is really powerful and there's, you know, a lot you can do with this with a hosted platform. They may have a nice feature. You can probably pull that off in Woo just as well. Uh, but then you're not boxed into, uh, you know, a SaaS platform like um, Shopify. So I think we're ready to draw our winner. Um, so we'll announce that in a sec. And for those of you, that are here, remember you can use Lifter Loves Woo, the coupon code, and get 20 bucks off until just uh, try to use that up by Valentine's Day or uh, through the 15th, February 15th. And congratulations to, we've just drawn, uh, drawn, the, drawn the winner. It is Lacey Richter. Um, she's won the free $99, $99 a year Lifter LMS add-on. Please email us at team at LifterLMS.com and we'll hook you up uh, with that. So congratulations to Lacey. I want to thank everybody for coming to this call. If you want to rewatch it, um, there is going to be a replay. You'll get an email about that. Uh, just want to thank Allie for helping put together this demo site. There was a lot. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot to put together a nice looking demo site, although it's amazing what you can do with uh, WordPress and a, and a couple of plugins. So thank you to Allie. Thanks, Kathy, for helping run the webinar. Brad, thanks for allowing me to live stream this in the WooCommerce Help and Share Facebook group and fielding some questions with me. And also thank you to Will for helping out in the uh, liftoff session. So if you're getting ready to purchase something from Lifter, I think you're really going to like the liftoff sessions. At Lifter LMS, we do, one of our core philosophies is to do things that don't scale and really engage with our community and see if we can help people get unstuck or get find success faster. So uh, if you're dig digging into Lifter LMS and WooCommerce and you want to, you know, have an ace up your sleeve of somebody just ready to jump on a call and help you, um, I would encourage you to check out the benefits of the liftoff sessions, which comes with any purchase from Lifter LMS. And then a big thank you to Thomas, Rob, and Natalie on the development side and support side. Um, 
Use that coupon code, Lifter LMS Loves Woo. There's three ways to buy uh, with the single product or either of the bundles. So check that out. And just as a reminder, we do have a uh, you know 30 day 100% money back guarantee. So if you're on the fence, you know try it out for 30 days, or um, you know just have the confidence that if you're not happy for any reason, uh, we'll 100 100% refund everything. So. Um, Thank you, everybody, for coming. Really appreciate it. I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. Take care.